When a visitor lands on our site, their browser will abruptly display elements on the screen as soon as they load. But using the appear effect, we can guide our visitors' attention with smooth, timed entrances that let us unfold the story to the visitor in exactly the way we want. In this lesson, we're looking at how the appear effect in Framer lets us choreograph how and when elements enter the canvas in just a few clicks. Again, for this lesson, we're gonna be using that same project file that we used in the last couple of lessons. So if you don't already have that, head to framer.com slash academy and grab the remix link from below the video on the lesson page for this lesson. So in this project here, we have a few elements that appear above the fold, so to speak, meaning we can see them as soon as the page loads without having to scroll. We've got an icon here that's in a little frame, and we've got a text box here, a text box here, and we also have the nav bar. We could even animate that if we wanted to. But for this lesson, we're gonna focus on the icon here, and then maybe we'll slap a couple animations on these frames. But I do wanna tell you, when it comes to text, we do have dedicated text effects which we're gonna talk about in a later chapter of this course. So let's start with this little lightning bolt icon here. I'm gonna select the parent frame that has the lightning bolt icon in it. I'm gonna come over to the properties panel, click effects, and I'm gonna to choose to add the appear effect. Now with the trigger set to on appear, we're working with the appear effect. If you change this, you're working with kind of a different effect altogether. You're gonna be triggering something on scroll. We're gonna talk about that in the next chapter, but in this chapter, we're gonna focus on the on appear option. So we wanna stick with that. Then we get to choose from a list of presets. If we don't wanna fiddle around with custom settings, we can just choose to have this fade in, scale in, scale in from the bottom, flip horizontally, etc. I'm gonna start with scale in because I want something like that. We don't have to stick with the defaults associated with one of these presets. You can start with a preset and then we can tweak it. So if any of these sounds even close to what you're trying to do, grab the preset and then customize it afterwards like we're about to do here. So when we head down to the enter effect, that's where we get to dial in what this layer is going to look like before it transitions in. Where's it gonna come from? So it's gonna come from 0% opacity, it's gonna come from a scale of 0.5 or 50% of its original size, and what it's gonna transition to is the way it appeared on the canvas before we added this effect. It's gonna come to rest at its normal appearance, so to speak. Now I'm gonna leave the opacity alone because I do want this to fade in, but as it's fading, rather than going from half of its original size to its original size, I want it to start a little bit larger than its original size. So I'm actually gonna go up to 1.3 or 130% of its original size. And I'll leave everything else alone and let's just fiddle with this transition here. Rather than having a spring, I want this to ease out nicely. I want it to come in at full speed and then ease out and come to rest very gently. So I'm just gonna switch the easing curve here to ease out. And just to make things a little more dramatic and make it easier for us to see, I'm gonna increase the duration of this to one full second. Cool, so now I'll hit Command P on my Mac to go into preview mode, and there we have it. As soon as the page loads, I'll hit Command R to refresh this. That icon now goes from 0% opacity to its original opacity, and it goes from 1.3 times its original size to its original size. So it kind of scales down and fades in together. But let's make this look even more three-dimensional. Let's have the icon sort of leap out or look like it's closer to the camera in 3D space. And to do that, we want it to be bigger at first before it comes to rest at its original size. So I'm gonna go back here. I'm gonna select the icon itself. And again, the icon's already being transformed by the appear effect that's on its parent frame because it's inside of its parent frame. It goes with the flow of its parent frame, but we can stack another effect on top of that. So I'm gonna click effects. I'm gonna choose appear. And similarly, I'm gonna go with the scale in effect, even though I'm gonna change it anyways. And for this one, I'm going to increase the scale all the way up to 1.6, just to be extra dramatic with it. And then the transition, I'll make it match. I'll set our transition here to ease. And then again, I want it to ease out, which means come in at full velocity and then slow down gradually at the end. And I'll make this the same one second duration. So let's preview this with Command P. And there we go, slightly more 3D, slightly more dimensional. We've got the icon starting a bit larger than its parent frame, and that gives us a bit of added depth there. 
And now even though we do have those dedicated text effects that we're gonna talk about later in this course, a text box is still technically an element. So we can add an appear effect to the text box itself. We get more granular control when we use text effects, but again, we're talking about those later. So let's head back and I'll just slap a couple of appear effects on these text boxes. I'm just gonna hold shift so I can select both of these at the same time. I'll click to add an effect. I'll add an appear effect. And for this, I'm just gonna leave it on the basic fade in, which if you wanted to dig into those settings, you could see everything is left alone except opacity. Opacity just starts at zero. And then for the transition, I'll do the same thing. I'll do the ease and then set it to ease out. And then what the heck, let's be extra dramatic and make this a two second duration. And there we go. Our icon comes in twice as quick. And then that text comes in a little bit slower, which looks surprisingly even. But then again, this text is going from black to pure white. So having that extra time kind of smooths out that massive increase in luminance. And there you have it. Appear effects bring our content and layouts into view in a way that feels smoother and more thoughtful. It's a simple touch that gives your designs a sense of life and flow. And it's sure to make a strong first impression. That's it for this one. I'll see you in the next one.